hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful top it's inspired by one of my previous tutorials which was of the romper so i've decided to break it down but also um i think i've seen such a top on pinterest i saw it way after i did the tutorial of the romper so um this was an inspiration from one of my creations i can say and this will be the back of the top and this will be the front of the top um, for those who would like the written pattern you'll find it on my online shops i'll be leaving all the links in the description box below so that you can get a copy of the written pattern of this top so let's get started the first thing that you're going to have to do is to prepare your colors and know exactly how the color scheme is going to flow for your top you can use scrap yarn for this project that is a very beautiful way to use scrap yarn for these multicolored projects so i have my colors here and you'll see me going in this order so that i don't mess up the flow of the pattern so i've already started working this and i'm going to show you how to do this same exact thing because i'm supposed to do two of them and then we start building on the actual piece so let's get started um i think i can put these on the side so that they don't interfere with the general look of our video so i already know how the colors are going to flow so let's begin we are going to begin from the exact middle of the triangle building it upward so that we can expand the triangle then bring in the second one and start building the actual top so let's begin you will need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook if you don't have this and you have tight tension then you're going to have to use a four millimeter crochet hook if you don't have this 3.75 and you have loose tension then you're going to have to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so the yarn that you'll need is any yarn if you have medium weight yarn then you're going to have to use one strand you'll see me using two strands for some colors because that's fingering weight yarn and it's very thin as compared to this uh, medium weight so i'm unraveling a project just to get the very first thread portion of this um, part of the video so you also need a pair of scissors, dunning needle to weave in your ends, and a measuring tip. That is very key because you're going to take some measurements as we work. And uh, for this tutorial, you will need a few measurements. You will need to take your full bust measurement and divide it by four. And then you'll also need to take your under bust measurement. So those are the two main measurements that you'll need for this tutorial. So you're going to get your very first color. I don't know what color that is, but for me, that's red. And you're going to make a slip knot. And now you're going to make a chain of five. So one, two, three, four, and five. After a chain of five, you're going to prepare for a double crochet and then go into the very first chain that you made and you're going to place a total of three double crochets so don't forget this tutorial is explained in us terms all the terms that i'm using here are us terms so this is what we have and we have a total of one two three four chains left on this side from our very first uh, chain five so the chain four counts as a double crochet chain one then the three double crochets into the same exact chain which is the very first chain and then you're going to make a chain of two and you're going to make three double crochets all in the same exact chain which is the very first chain that we made so now the chain has three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets into the same exact space. Now you're going to chain one, and you're going to go into the same exact chain and place one double crochet into it. And that marks the end of row one. This is what it will look like. 
it's a very small triangle and after this you're going to chain one get your pair of scissors and cut your yarn leaving a tail behind so this marks the end of row one and this is the same exact thing happening around here we shall be referring to this so that everything makes sense so after this you're going to get your second color for me that is orange and you're going to make a slip knot and attach your yarn where you left off with the red so after chaining one and cutting your yarn that very stitch that very last double crochet go on top of it and attach your yarn with a slip stitch make sure it's tight enough this doesn't count as a stitch or as a chain so you're going to make a chain of four which will count as a double crochet chain one and then you're going to go into the very first chain one space with a total of three double crochets one two and three like that now you're going to make a chain of one and into the chain two space you're going to place a shell which is three double crochets one two and three and then chain two and three more double crochets and that counts as a shell a shell is three double crochets chain two and three double crochets and this is only placed in chain two space and the only chain two space that you'll find on this project is that one in the exact middle of the triangle so you're going to chain one and go into the very last space which is the chain one space since the chain three counts as a double crochet and then the extra chain one now you're going to go into that space with a total of three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same space so we are doing this because at the beginning we have a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one and then at the end we have to end with a chain one and a double crochet just to balance exactly what's happening on this side so after this you're going to make a chain of four now we are not going to change our color because we need two rows of the orange so after this chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work and then you're going to place three double crochets into the very first chain one space so just like row two we begin our row in the same exact way so after this you're going to chain one and go into the next chain one space with a total of three double crochets so every chain one space gets three double crochets don't forget that the only difference is at the beginning and at the end but when it comes to the chain one spaces in the sides of the triangle they'll always get three double crochets after the chain one here that separates the groups of three double crochets so after that you're going to chain one and remember I told you the chain two space is only found at the tip of the triangle which is in the exact center and every chain two space gets a shell and I told you that a shell is three double crochets chain two three double crochets so let's go ahead and place a shell in the next chain two space three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets into the same exact space all right so this is what we have we're going to chain one and go into the next chain one space and remember i told you the chain one space gets only three double crochets like that and then you're going to chain one this is the very last space and it always gets three double crochets chain one 
and one more double crochet into the same space just to balance exactly what happened here so this is what we have and after our two rows of this color we're going to chain one and cut our yarn leaving a strand behind for weaving in pull through fast enough now we're going to attach our next color and the next color as you can see is that lilac or very light purple so get your color so for now the thickness of the yarn is still the same for all the colors that I've used. That's why I'm using only one strand for each color. I'll be mentioning when I change the type of um, yarn and you'll see the difference. So we are going to attach our yarn where we left off with the orange into that very last stitch. And we're going to attach our purple color. And now we're going to make a chain of four which counts as a double crochet chain one go into that very fast chain one space with a total of three double crochets chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space so i hope now the pattern is getting a little bit more clearer than before so chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one this is a chain two space and it's the exact center of the triangle so it gets a shell which is three double crochets chain two three double crochets and three more double crochets into the same exact chain two space when you're done with this you're going to chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one and into the very last space you're going to place three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same exact space so what you should note right now, by now, you should note that we don't work any stitches into the stitches from the row below. All the stitches that are worked are placed in the chain spaces, either the chain one space or the chain two space, or the space on the edge when we are finishing up the row. That's something that you should note. And if you're so far getting value from this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post tutorials. And don't forget to share this video with your friends to try out these amazing projects. So let's go on to row five, and it's going to be the same exact color as the previous one, since we are making two, two rows of each color. So you're going to start the same exact way with a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet chain one three double crochets into the very first chain one space like that and then you're going to chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and you're going to repeat that until we get to the chain two space so as you can see here We've reached the chain two space so after your chain of one here you go into the chain two space with a shell which is three double crochets chain two three double crochets and then you are going to just go back into the pattern chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space all the way down until you have um, until you come to the end of the row and I'll be showing you how to wind up okay now after a chain of one here you have this space you're going to just go into it with a total of three double crochets chain one 
and one more double crochet into the same space and by now you should notice that we are just doing the same exact thing for each and every row the only difference is the triangle is getting bigger because the groups of three double crochets on the sides of the triangle are increasing that means our triangle should become even bigger and bigger for as long as we repeat the same exact process for each and every row so um you're going to chain one cut your yarn because we are done with the two rows of the color that we were working with before and so if i put this against this you can see exactly what's happening we are only left with two rows of blue to get the same exact thing that we have on this triangle so let's go on to our next color so i'm going to show you how to do this because um, this is the color that i changed the type of yarn as you can see the yarn is much thinner than our previous yarn if we put it alongside the previous yarn this is thicker and this is thinner so if you have a color that you want to use and it's quite thin then you're going to double the strand but we're going to repeat the same exact process we are just doubling the strand so that we get the same thickness for each and every row so you're going to start off with a slip knot just as usual and then we are going to attach our yarn where we left off with the purple in that same exact stitch and then we're going to make a chain of four and then double crochet three times into the very first chain one space and as you can see if we double our strand we won't have a drastic change in the look of the blue rose as how it would be if we didn't double that strand because if we don't double the strand then um, this section of the blue will look really really thin and off as compared to the other colors so just go ahead and repeat the same exact process as the previous rows by now you should be knowing the pattern very well chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and after this you're going to chain one we've reached the exact middle of the triangle which should receive a shell so we are placing our shell there which is three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets and the moment you're done with that you're going to chain one and we are going to go into the chain one spaces with three double crochets so the only thing that you shouldn't forget is to always chain one after the three double crochets don't forget that other than that everything is now a walkover for us All right, so we're coming to the end and the very last space is getting three double crochets chain one and one more double crochet into the same exact space and since we need two rows of this color we're going to just continue to to um, repeat the same exact process so as you can see here we have two rows of blue so you're going to just make a chain of uh, four turn your work three double crochets into the very first chain one space and then go on and complete your very last row because it should just resemble the previous row there's nothing changing here
so we're coming to the end and I am placing three double crochets into the very last space chain one and then one more double crochet into the same space and this is what we have just try to stretch your work a bit and stretch it at the tip of the triangle so that it can get a very definite shape and we have the same thing going on here so um remember the measurement that i told you at the beginning your bust measurement so i'm considering a bust measurement of 34 inches so you're going to take your bust measurement 34 and 34 divided by by 4 is equal to 8.5 and that's the measurement that we are considering so the base of the triangle should be 8.5 inches when stretched when slightly stretched you don't want to overstretch your work because um it may come out a little bit too tight and the skin may start to pop through these holes and uh of course you can do lining and all that but just slightly stretch your work at the base to make sure you get your the quarter of your bust measurement so if you haven't yet gotten that measurement you're going to just keep working the same exact row until the base of your triangle can measure that so um for me these are the number of rows that i needed and i have a total of one two three seven rows i was counting the colors but times two one two three times two which is six and one row of red which is seven rows and now we're going to put our work like this as you can see here and we're going to once you make your second one just go ahead and mirror the same exact process repeat the same process and get two triangles that look exactly the same and after this you're going to just place your work in a way that um, the last row was worked on the upper side as you can see here the tail is here for the first one and then the second one the tail is here so i'm going to just go into the third chain of the chain four on this side and we are going to make a slip stitch there chain one and cut your yarn so this project is very easy you can choose to use one color if you like you can choose to to make um one row of each color so that it's really multicolored you can use to you can choose to use uh two uh one color for two rows one color for three rows depends on how dramatic you want your top to be so uh let's go on to our very next color and that is green i can put this away for now now for the green color which is our next color it's going to cut across from this side onto this side so i'm going to show you how so since the previous row was worked like this we're going to just turn our work so that we work in the opposite direction of the previous row i hope i'm clear on that just attach your yarn where you left off with a blue color Touch your yarn there chain four and we're just repeating the same exact process plus uh three double crochets into the chain one space at the beginning of the row and then chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and repeat that all the way up until we get to the chain two space in the exact middle of the triangle So the same thing is happening for the green. I only had fingering weight yarn, which is quite thin. So I chose to double my strand. So that uh, when someone looks at this top, they, they can actually think I used the same exact brand for all the colors that I used. But uh, I'm just trying to match 
the thickness so we are at the top and you're placing three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets okay sorry these are two three double crochets this is what we have and uh, we are now going to go down until we get to this point here the chain one space right before the last group of three double crochets as you can see here so just chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one three double crochets So I have placed my last three double crochets in that space that I showed you when we have only three double crochets left to finish our very first triangle. Now we're going to switch things up a bit. Now from here you are not going to chain one this time you're going to just prepare for a double crochet skip over all this the first group of three double crochets and go into the next chain one space and you're going to place three double crochets in there that way we've crossed over from this side to the opposite side as you can see here so we are chaining one three double crochets into the next chain one space and everything else just remains the same just continue working around your second triangle just as usual not forgetting to place a shell on top of the triangle So we've come to the end and I am placing three double crochets into the last space. Three double crochets. Chain one and one more double crochet into the same exact space. And this is what we have. Okay. So let's go on to our second row of green because we need two rows of each color. So uh, we're going to just repeat the same exact process. Chain four, turn your work. Three double crochets into the same space. And then chain one, three double crochets into the next chain one space. And repeat that until you get to this point here. The chain two space before the last group of three double crochets on this side and then we're going to just repeat the same exact process as we did here after your three double crochets here you're not going to chain one you just cross over to this side and place three double crochets on this side as well and then go all the way up and then down and i'll meet you back when i'm back and i show you exactly what that looks like Okay guys, so we are done with our green color. As you can see here, I did exactly what I told you to do at this point. And uh, I finished up my row, just like we've been doing for the other rows. Now, there are some things that I need to talk about at this point. 
our triangles are still expanding the only difference is they're expanding on the outside but not the inside the reason why we are doing this the two double crochets um the two groups of three double crochets together on this side and on this side and skipping this is because we don't want this middle section to expand so now um if we measure our one side of the triangle you can see we are almost at 10 inches that means our work is still expanding but not in the middle section it's only expanding outwards on the edges so we are going to get our next color for me that is yellow i have this bright yellow that i want to use for my next color and you can use any color of course but we are going to just keep repeating this uh, row of green so exactly what you did for your previous row this one on the edge so how to attach you just go into the same exact last stitch here where you left off with your green color attach your yarn just like we've been doing for the other colors just attach chain four and then you're going to double crochet three times into the same exact chain one space at the beginning of the row and everything else remains the same so let me just speed through this you're going to make as many rows as you want but uh, keep in mind we have to consider the under bust measurement you don't want this piece to go all the way around to the back so that this part joins onto this part so we have to be very cautious we're going to work until we have our under bust measurement minus four inches so if you have 35 inches for your under bust measurement you are going to work until you have um, 30 inches for the base of the two triangles so let me first work i'll explain that later on and i also explain the reason why i wouldn't want the two ends to meet so just repeat this row the green row the one that comes from this side all the way up all the way up until the end not forgetting we don't increase in the middle so let me go ahead and work my colors and i'll be back to show you exactly what i have once i hit the best measurement that i need for my top i'll come back and show you um what to do next all right guys so i think i've reached that point whereby the base of my two triangles measures uh my under bust measurement minus four inches or five inches you need to leave space so that we can have a space at the back and these two don't meet so the moment you're done with that you're going to try on your top just try it onto your chest and make sure you mark that point where the level of your top is right below your breast so for me i'm counting one two three four and five and i'm marking that point after five um groups of three double crochets and i'm doing the same exact thing here one two three four and five and i'm putting a stitch marker there so we have marked this part now we are going to continue to create the bust coverage but we are not going to continue to build onto this lower part so you're going to grab your hook and yarn at this point i'm on row 13 i have a total of 13 rows all together from the base all the way up so you're going to grab your next color i don't know what color scheme that you're using but if you're using the same exact as mine you're going to grab your red color and uh you're going to make sure that you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row so turn your work so that uh, you're working in the opposite direction of the previous row 
Now you're going to attach your yarn into that same exact chain one space where you place the stitch marker and you're going to make a chain of three. This time not a chain of four, a chain of three and then one, sorry, three double crochets in the chain one space all the way up. Everything else remains the same, nothing changes. As you can see here, we are just repeating the same exact thing. The only difference is now the rows are shorter. We are not starting our rows from the exact base of the top, but we are continuing to build more coverage upwards on our top so that it can be a little longer and more coverage towards the top as opposed to the base of the top. So just continue to work the same exact process until you get to somewhere around the next stitch marker and I'll show you what to do from there. All right guys, so I'm almost um, at the second stitch marker so you can remove it. And the stitch marker was in this space. So after your three double crochets here, you're going to just go straight into that chain one space and place a double crochet there. And that's all. So we're going on to our next row. You're just going to turn your work like this and slip stitch into the next three double crochets. So just slip stitch into each of each and every stitch of the next group of three double crochets. And then you're going to make a single crochet into the next chain one space and then chain two. That will count as our very first double crochet. The single crochet is just part of the double crochet here so that we don't get a very long chain here. And after this, you're going to go into the next chain one space and place three double crochets like that. And after this, you're going to just continue to work as usual. You're just going to go with the flow of the pattern. I hope you still remember how to do it. Chain one, three double crochets. All the way up, place a shell here, go down until here. When you place three double crochets here, cross over and place three double crochets here. Go all the way up, place a shell, and then I'll meet you back towards the end of um, our second row of red so you can remove this stitch marker we no longer need it i'll meet you back towards the end of this row around this point here okay guys so we're coming to the end of this row and i have one chain one space before this chain three so once you get to that point, you don't chain one after the next group of three double crochets. You just directly go into the chain one space and place a double crochet like that. And then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. Now that means that we are now going on to our next color. And for me, that color will be pink. We're going to still be decreasing so that we get that bust coverage so grab your next color this is my next color and you're going to make a slip knot make sure you're walking in the opposite direction of the previous row by now you should be knowing how to do that now you're going to attach your yarn into the first chain one space of the red so not the chain three the chain one space here and you're going to attach your pink color or whatever color that you choose to use and then you're going to chain three now you're going to go into the next chain one space with three double crochets and we're going to just continue to work until we get to this end and i'll meet you back and show you how to wind up your row
all right so we're almost coming to the end of the pink row the first pink row so you're just going to go ahead with a pattern until you have only one chain one space left we don't consider the chain three space so the moment you have only one chain one space left from the previous row you're going to directly go into that space and place one double crochet there like that then you're going to turn your work and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did on the second row of red hope you still remember it just turn your work and then slip stitch into the next three double crochets of the first group of three double crochets here from the previous row then single crochet into the chain one space then chain two and this count this will count as our very first double crochet then continue to place three double crochets into the next chain one space chain one three double crochets into the next chain one space and just go on with the pattern and finish up this row as usual so the fitting of this top is going to depend on so many things it's more like a measurement based type of design so um for example for those people who have a bigger lower bust measurement they'll have a longer base for their top meaning they are going to have to do a little bit of more rows when it comes to the upper coverage for those people with um, smaller under bust measurement or the bust measurement you will have fewer rows so everything will depend on the measurements that you got at the beginning of the video so just go ahead and finish up this row and i'll show you what to do from there i'll show you how mine came out and we shall be finalizing with our design all right guys i'm almost through with my pink color actually i didn't have to chain one here i'm going to just directly go into the last chain one space chain one and then i cut my yarn pull through and fasten off this is how your top will look like on the edges you can see a slight slant that creates that still creates a coverage for the bust but not so much coverage to the base of the top so the moment you're done with that you're going to decide what color you want your straps to be make a slip knot i'll be using the pink yarn and attaching it here at the top single crochet into the same exact space and make a chain of uh around let me say 60 chains one two three four So I ended up making a total of um, 80 chains instead of 60 and you're going to just do the same exact thing on the top of the opposite bra cup because these are the bra cups for this design. Single crochet and make your chain. All right, so now we are done with the upper bit and these two strands or chains are going to tie behind your neck like that. You can go ahead and cut off the extra loose strands like that. And then you can turn your work to the wrong side and either weave in your tail or you can just tie a knot at the back especially if you use two strands to work on this top you can just 
tie a knot at the back if you have one strand then i would advise you to use a dunning needle to weave in the the tails to secure them okay so now that we are done with this this is how the top looks like we are going to create a boundary color for the base here at the base so before we do that, we are going to make sure we get rid of all the loose strands that are lying around. What I want to do is just to tie a knot between, um, to tie a knot on those points where the two colors meet, where we were attaching the new color. There's always two strands. The moment you tie a knot, you cut it. Okay, so the only strand that I'm left with is this one in the middle and I'll weave it in as I work my very fine overall. So what I want to do right now is to select my boundary color. You're going to choose what color you want for the base of your top. And for me, I've chosen red. And you're going to first make a chain of uh, maybe 50 to 100. I'll do a middle number, which is like 70. So... Just make a slip knot and make a chain of 70. So I have my 70 chains here. And you're going to turn your work to the base. And you're going to prepare for a double crochet and attach into the very first row and place a total of three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets into the next row. And you're just going to repeat this all the way across. Chain one, three double crochets into the next row. Continue to do this all the way across and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. So I'm noticing that three double crochets could be too many for just one row. And I'm going to just unravel it. And instead of three, I'm going to just place two double crochets into each and every row. So that uh, the stitches don't look so many at the base. Chain one, two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. And that's the repeat for this row. I'm very sorry about the previous thing, but that's the beauty with crochet. The moment you notice a mistake, you can always go ahead and correct it as you work so that you get a better look for the final finish. So just go all the way across the top and I'll meet you back at the end. Uh, if you are to notice, this is much better than what we had before. Okay guys, so I've made it all the way across the base of the top with my red color. And after placing your last two double crochets into the very last row, you're going to make a chain of 70 or whatever number that you made at the beginning of the uh the best edging of the top remember i started with 70 that means i'm going to chain 70 on this side as well so let me just go ahead and do that so after your chain you're going to cut your yarn and fasten off now the next thing that's left to do is to get rid of all the loose strands. If you still have any loose strands on the top,
top you're going to use your dining needle <clears throat> to weave them in especially the ones on the side if you have two strands you can just go ahead and knot them either two times or three times and then get rid of them Make sure you're weaving in your ends on the wrong side of your work. You don't want these strings to pop out on the right side. And the other thing that I forgot to mention was your very final row should be worked on the right side of your work. So the moment you're done with uh, weaving in all your ends, this is what we have guys. And these two strings that we've created here are the ones going to tie at the back of our top, like this. And this will be the back of the top and this will be the front of the top. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you in my next video. Bye!